So we just come out of the European premiere of the last exorcism. Um, you, uh, I've got the Q and A with the cast and whatnot all recorded, so that will probably be following this. Uh, so yeah, no, last exorcism. Uh, I'm really, really, really like uh, unimpressed. Um, yeah. Uh, like I was just saying to you before we started recording, I think that uh, I wasn't expecting anything going into Last Exorcism, really. I was just expecting I didn't even know it was uh, a, a very handheld thing, really. The only. You hadn't seen the trailer, have you? No, but I saw 15 seconds of it yesterday when it was oh. supposed to be I Spit on Your Grave. That's, yeah. the only, that's the only footage I've seen of it. I haven't seen the trailer or anything. I just wanted to say that before you carried yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, as I said to you before, uh, on the way here, I kind of expected it, uh, marketing wise, I expected it to be The Haunting in Connecticut or um, The Exorcism of Mary Rose or stuff like that. Uh, when I found out that Eli Roth was attached to it, obviously it becomes more interesting. Yeah. Uh, learning that it's camcorder horror, in quote marks, if you want that, then I would expect that if you're going to make a camcorder horror film and you're going to do it about exorcism, then you know what? If somebody's arm bends back, or somebody's head goes the wrong way, or somebody's eyes roll back, or somebody contorts in a specific way, somebody or makes something weird noises happens. that doesn't seem like it's coming from exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. very easy to scare me doing something like that. Sure. Very easy. And um, didn't do any of it. Uh, the girl's neck twisted a little bit at one point, but it wasn't scary in the slightest and it wasn't threatening. In the it, like there was, it, it spent a whole, it spent a whole long time dealing with the um, the reality TV stuff, the fly on the wall stuff. Sure. Um, but there was no payoff, there was no, even like the twist, I'm not going to mention the twist, so don't worry, but like the twist was basically the ending of at least two films that I can think of right now, one from the 1970s as well. It's and one very recent and one throwback. very recent one, exactly, yeah, so I like that. Um, <laughs> so the whole thing really was just damp square, like uninspired, uninspired, uninteresting, and ultimately unscary. And Eli Roth will not want you tweeting that. <laughs> no, and um, my biggest disappointment of the day is that I left the baseball bat at the flat. My second biggest disappointment of the day is that that wasn't slightly more scary. I, I was. That was literally the most meh film that I've seen. Uh, okay. Disappointing. I can help, Jordan. Um, I, I mean, I enjoyed it on the whole. Um, I thought it was slickly made. I thought it was very smart with the way it went about with its main character. Um, when that start, when it started, like, I just expected your normal exorcism movie. Um, but what it delivered was an, an, an interesting revelation of the main character about five minutes in, and I was like, right now you've got me hooked because I'm pretty interested now. And as the next twenty minutes go, and you sort of see this, you see the main character do his stuff and how he, he he reacts to the camera and how he reacts to to what he's doing. I thought that was really, really done well. Um, yeah, Noel's right, it isn't scary at all. There's maybe one one jump scare in the whole thing. I mean, it was not really even a good jump scare. Was that scare. when she suddenly goes a bit mental? It, when she's sitting on the steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's literally the only one. Same as me, folks. Yeah. Um, it was about five, there was about five or six jump scares in... Uh, what did we watch before? The uh, zombie, like, uh, the dead. Like, there's about five or six jump scares in that. Like, but it didn't fucking make you sit sit there for, for, for two hours watching somebody's camcorder footage to do that. And that, you know, a jump scare does not a horror movie make. Like, uh, it doesn't make a good horror movie, but, like... I mean, that's, all me, that that's all I had to offer. I mean, for me, it was, just, it was much more about that, that main, how interesting that main character was for me. Um, and at the end, the end sort of, I'd say, six minutes when you, you do have your twist, it, it went a bit too silly for me. It went a bit too out there. I, I could have done without it, really. Um,